Thank you for taking a moment to watch this video. And on this specific training, I want to talk to you about call recording and more specifically, how to get the call recordings that you do using phone burner into the activities that are created in Salesforce when you're making your calls. It's really easy to do it. So let me show you. The first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that we have a field on the activity object where we can store that link to the recording. So let's jump over to setup. So I'm going to click on the gear in the upper right hand portion and click on setup. From setup in Salesforce, I'm going to go to the object manager. In the object manager, I'm going to click on activity. From the activity object, I'm going to click on fields and relationships. If you don't already have a field on the activity object that you want to store these links in, you'll need to create that field. Now I'm not going to walk you through how to create a field super easy to do it, but I will point out that we don't care what type of field it is, but you might care what type of field it is. Salesforce offers an option for a URL type field. That's what I would recommend. You can of course store it in a text field if you'd like. However, if you want Salesforce to create a clickable link on the activity object, you need to make sure that it is a URL type field. Once you've created the field or identified the specific field that you want to use, we need to copy the field name and we need to add it to the phone burner system so that we know where you want the link to the recording to be stored. So now that we've copied that, let's jump over to phone burner from phone burner. I'm going to click on my settings in the upper right hand portion of the page, and I'm going to go to the integration settings from the integration settings. I'm going to click on Salesforce. From the Salesforce page, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom. Almost to the bottom, you'll see call recording. We're going to paste the API name of the field where we want those recording links stored. Once I paste it in there, I'm going to click save. The page is going to refresh. Now, if I scroll back down, you're going to see the PB call recording field name is listed with any of the other fields that I've added to my integration. But that's not it. There's one more thing that you need to do if you have not already done it. We need to activate call recording in phone burner to do that. I'm going to scroll back up to the top of my settings. I'm going to click on the dial session settings from the dial session settings. You'll see the option for call recording. Once you click on the call recording link, you'll see the option to enable call recording. There's a little bit of terms and conditions that you have to agree to go ahead and agree to those terms if you're okay with them. And now the call recording feature is enabled for your account and your entire team. Now, if you don't want to record calls for every team member, let's go ahead and click on the team tab, go to the, my team section, and let's edit one of our users. From here, you'll see the option to allow them to record calls. You can give them permission to delete recordings and or manage call recording as well. So anyway, that's how you can activate call recording in your phone burner account and ensure that the links to those recordings are on the activities in Salesforce. Thanks for taking a moment to watch this video and happy dialing.